Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a tier list, however, with my little spin. You see a lot of these other creators do tier lists for like meta heroes, but it never really changes because these devs don't know how to balance properly. So today my tier list will be on how much I hate you based off your Overwatch main. Now don't expect this list to be consistent. And what I mean by that is some heroes I'll base off how much I hate going against the hero, having the hero on my team, or just have bad experiences with players who play X hero. Now I don't mean to yap on any longer, but we are close to 50k subs. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe, like the video, it tells me you guys want to see more also we have a discord so if you want to get closer to the community make sure you join link to that will be in the description without further ado let's get into it this is gonna hurt me but you guys need to understand not only was i born with a low iq i was born with a competitive fire in me if there is something to win god damn it i want to win it when it comes to ryan he's bad in some situations most situations every other tank shits on ryan so when i get a ryan main on my team it doesn't really feel good especially when i get maps like havana or junker town so many things counter ryan and i was gonna rank him lower until i stumbled across this tiktok the fact that he's playing ryan with a fucking business suit on i was gonna rank you guys around d but i'll give you guys a c plus like a really close b but i just can't because of how bad he is she's always useless on my team i can count on one hand how many useful jqs i've had she's so small it's almost like i don't even have a tank i know this horrible player is gonna press y blitz me in the back line after they've done nothing the entire fucking game kill me and then proceed to die and we most likely still win the fight but it's annoying as shit and for the people that are gonna say why don't you go kiri it's not like i'd even have my clans considering my team likes a position like they don't even know how to tie their own shoes first f tier of this list do you have players that are the type to say hi back when you wave at them you know they hit you with a little Inyong. i love getting diva mains on my team even against azar because that gives me an excuse to go on because she usually requires a lot of heals and going against the diva typically warrants me to go brig since she's really easy to farm inspire off of and brig is probably my favorite support to play in the right situations because i could just turn my brain off and have huge impact really no red flags in being a diva main so i'll give you guys the s here indeed would have e sex with the kratatui ball is easily counterable thus making it tilting getting a ball in your team because if he doesn't swap most likely the enemy team is going to swap the counters and now you're fighting a pointless uphill battle which ball players tend to be stubborn little bitches i remember i had a game when a ball compared my low healing to their supports who had a sigma and i'm like yeah no shit it's Sherlock of course their supports are gonna have more healing when they actually have a front line meanwhile I have a ball playing hide and seek with the enemy supports who are unkillable due to how overtuned supports are in this game the only upside and saving you guys from an F rating is the fact that I love going against the ball and either sleeping him when he tries to slam me or just going brig and rendering him useless so for now I'll give him a D tier now if this was overwatch 1 you'd get a solid F tier you double shield abusing merchants however in overwatch 2 he's not really as annoying I've never really had a negative experience with Sigma players at least in recent memory and he's usually a solid Pick. However, his lore single-handedly makes him an A tier. What is that melody? Aresia players are never really happy playing Aresia. She is a crutch tank for bad players. Tend to be pussies who are getting tank gaps so they swap to Arisa because they need that crutch. Also, since she's so unkillable, she most of the time just walks right past my sensory impaired team and just starts molesting me in my backline. Impossible to avoid her ult if I'm on Ana, so that usually results in most of my deaths when she does that spinny thing. And then bye, yo, more all over my face. D tier. Now, this was surprised a lot of people, but it's the same fucking scenario. It's not a matter of if this winston will play out of my line of sight it's how much will this winston play out of my line of sight you don't understand how tilting it is playing support for a monkey who just dives high ground without thinking whether if they're in their supports los or not like do you guys even look at your health bar to contest high ground doesn't mean you need to kill them it just means you need to make it so they don't have free reign however most of you dive with the intent to kill and your pullout game is weaker than philip rivers and for that reason i can't rank you guys higher than anything than a c no really red flags about ram players however there's always that moment in the game when i hear Suffer as I have. And then proceed to profusely clench my asshole. And most of the time I miss my sleep, so that's really on me, but at the same time, I can barely fucking see shit with the red aura he gives out. His backstory is also nothing short of amazing. And he reminds me of Star Platinum, so I gotta give him a B team. <laughs> Zar players probably have the biggest ego out of the entire tank role because it's most likely a DPS off rolling and trying to use their mechanics to carry. They probably don't even know how to play tank. I've had one too many experiences with Zar players with fat egos to leave a salty taste in my mouth. C tier. I blame Zebra for doing unrepairable damage to this game by causing this influx of Doom players. I can't blame them though because Zebra's videos are fucking fun to watch. However, when some fucking random named Grumpy Kitten tries to replicate this and play Doom in my game, it never really ends well. Also, you guys are similar to Winston players and the fact that you guys love to f 
freaking die out of my line of sight. He's also really easily counterable considering any player can go Sombra and completely shut you down. You're most likely not good enough like Zebra or get quaked on to work around that. And I know a lot of you just sit there and jerk off to do montages and rollout tutorials on YouTube, which is just fucking hilarious to me. Gotta give you guys the deets here. Now, Hog gives me a purpose on support, whether it's going Kiri to cleanse my Hog or going on to myself to completely shut down the enemy Hog. I honestly think Hog was wrongfully nerfed and Hog players receive way too much hate. In Overwatch 2, when there's one tank and you don't know where this one tank is, this fat fuck walking around, I hate to say it, but that's on you. Then Hog got his hero dumpstered for four seasons and fun fact hog was the first hero i fell in love with when i started playing this fucking dog shit game seven years ago so just for that i'll give you guys an eight tier as of right now your character does seem balanced however when i used to play dps in overwatch 1 and had to deal with 225 fucking health in a flashbang i still hold a grudge for that so d tier tonight will be the night that i will pop for you um i don't really know what to rate you edge lords i don't really have a problem with you guys so i'll give you guys a b tier no skill no bitches no father no loving home rng hero d tier no skill no bitches no father no loving home rng hero d tier your character is bad and you most likely aren't skilled enough to make up for it so you most of the time drop a valorant kd on my team plus Plus you're a nanoblade merchant so i can't really rate you anything higher than a c but you would be ranked higher if blizzard actually made him viable for more than two weeks equivalent to having a fly buzzing in your ear all game however gives violet myers a run for her money when it comes to dick riding i bet you guys just feel so fucking cool spawn trapping a support coming from spawn huh like bro why can't you just leave me alone like a normal my dad c tier apply everything i said about tracer to this hero however this border hopper has the ability to make me more useless than steph curry in the clutch with a click of a button and for the record he spotted his own in Mexico. This bitch thinks she's so cool just sitting in invis rubbing her fucking titties, stalking me like EDP would a 13 year old's Instagram. Hard F tier. Some grade A pussy shit when you swap into these heroes because you see the enemy team doesn't have any hit scan, huh? Mercy pocket merchants that require me to go Mercy. And if I'm tilted, most likely I am, I don't feel like playing Mercy. So you feed all game. C tier. Only annoying thing about you is your eyes goals, which following the shades of Hanzo's arrows in terms of most of it is luck. You know, you're most likely just spamming it brainlessly and it just happens to hit my fucking Head. But she's so adorable. She looks like she wouldn't even hurt a butterfly. So when I get a bad May on my team, it's hard to yell at them because I imagine I'm yelling at May, and I would never do such a thing to my queen. A tier. If I had a dollar for every time a widow typed a slur in match chat, I'd be able to consistently fly out and get top for their mothers because having a prostitute mother is the only plausible explanation as to why you would play widow. Because no widow player gets any love or attention at home. You probably got bullied at school and that's why you play widow because you're scared of confrontation and just want to sit in the back of the map like a little bitch. So skillless yet you fucks have the biggest egos when you know you're useless on any other hero that requires the IQ above 30 to play. You just sit there and hold a sideline. How the fuck do you find that fun if i could foretell my child's future and see they're gonna be a widow player i'm getting an abortion and if she don't agree then f tier now most of y'all probably thought i was gonna be biased and put her somewhere in s or a tier huh you were sadly mistaken yes ana is fun to play however when i'm forced to off heal for an ana it usually doesn't end well my tank is constantly dying because my ana is too busy trying to DPS. They always have high deaths, which is baffling considering she's a sniper and all you gotta do is sit in the back line. They hold on to Nano until Overwatch 3. Yes, I love playing Ana, but I can never trust another Ana player to play Ana. Also, when I'm on tank and you brainlessly toss your abilities at my fat ass like a fucking psycho, it's only skillful when I do it because I said so. Fuck you. D tier. <laughs> usually have the mindset that i can only climb by dps because when i heal my team they don't kill anything i can't say enough how fucking awful you guys are and now it leaves me in this awkward situation to go double main healer for my tank who's dying constantly because my bap recently watched an unranked gm series but if i do that my dps won't get any love and god fucking forbid i kindly ask your bitch ass to swap mercy so my team can actually get a good main healer in which i already know the fucking answer i don't know how to play mercy well fucking learn because that is more your speed and a large portion of support players in the top 100 are zimming bad players who have no fucking iq let their little mouse and keyboard with amuses carry them easy f tier Equivalent to Bat, but more brain dead. I go Moira because we need more damage and kills. Bap, Zen, Iari, and Kiri are better. I go Moira because I'm dying too much. Bap has Zimor and self heal. Ana can snipe from the back line. Kiri has Suzu and can go through walls. I go Moira because my heals and damage are always high. It's bullshit stat padding that doesn't contribute to the win at all. Moira's range healing is her biggest con, and the fact that you mother fluffers go Moira when you have a dive tank or dive DPS will never make sense to me. Why would you go Moira when your tank is going to be constantly diving high grounds and moving around? And you have 
have to give them a colonoscopy to be able to fucking heal them. Throw an orb at them that'll touch them for like two seconds. And then you got the enemy Moiras who give me the Ash Cast special thinking they're fucking cool. They're so fucking branded, they can't come up with any other solution to help their team win. D tier. Iari, not Alari. I don't give a fuck how she's pronouncing her backstory things or whatever. It is fucking Iari. How would you pronounce this, huh? It's tortilla in Spanish, and the English way would be tortilla, not tortilla. Same way it's Iari in Spanish and Iari in English. I don't care how Echoes Dupe says it, which first of all, she says Iliari, not Alari. God, it never makes me fail to fucking cringe when people say Alari. Anyways, you're abusing a broken hero, and you most likely bought the battle pass, which any person who gives Blizzard money is a fucking dumbass in my eyes. You are most likely one of the people who see a new hero and react like a fucking toddler with a new toy sat through 10 minute queue times just to play her in comp because she's new and then proceed to throw because you're just not that guy pal d tier stubborn little fucks which despite how many times you ask to switch they won't your dps aren't gonna have a fun time and mercy in most scenarios would be better to enable them but since x streamer told you zenzo p you think you're doing a lot by having high damage low heals and 15 deaths you guys die so much i swear to god i need to buy a ouija board to be able to communicate with you guys your ults typically never actually win a fight unless it's something like grav or blade after dying to the genji 10 times and you also most likely didn't have transfer as first blade because you were too busy dying to build your ult i know a lot of people disagree with my take on zen but he's a perfectly balanced glass cannon does a lot of damage for the trade-off of your survivability and low healing so just learn to play fucking mercy kit because you're just not that guy you moira and bap are the type to be like oh i have the same if not more damage than my dps that means means my dps just suck well that, that tends to be the case when your support is fucking broken does a lot of damage and you're not healing your dps d tier your hero is shit i don't care if i get a life weaver i'm immediately expecting a loss your whole kit is to heal bot and just like zen's damage more often than not you don't need life weaver's healing slash utility every game it's equally as annoying to go against a life weaver because of how much his survivability has been buffed so he's just a tanky dog shit hero d tier you are the type of players to see your team die around you and be like, ah, nah, this is fine, we don't need more healing. You can TP through fucking walls, which gives Kiri players the ego to position like fucking shit and take 1v1s, and then run away like a little pussy when they miss all their shots. D tier. Lucio players are the type to verbally say Twitch emos like PogChamp. You guys get your personalities off TikTok and Twitch streams. The amount of times we have an Ash or Hit skin that would pop off if they had a pocket, but instead you pick Lucio, so now I'm in this awkward state of my DPS not getting any enablement, but I can't go Mercy because this kid is on Lucio. You're the type of players who are happy and actually have fun, at the cost of not caring if your team wins or not. D tier. <laughs> Nah, I'm just playing around. <laughs> Mercy has such a large player base that you have to individually grade each type of Mercy. First, gay Mercies, and these are the only group of players that can genuinely make me laugh. They are so f***ing funny with how unfiltered they are. A+. plus. Next, you got boosted Mercies with Egos. Typically cute with a Zim player, usually a Discord kitten, and they let their rank get to their head, making them forget you're playing a hero that requires zero mechanical skill. F tier. Next, you got battle Mercies, throwing cancers to the f***. Game. I'm talking about mercies like this one in this video who DPS even when you're fucking losing F tier and then you got heal bot mercies You most likely dick ride your tank and you don't know how to utilize your hero properly But you're a very nice person who just has a lot to learn. I'll give you guys a C tier Overall, I'm gonna give mercy a B tier because more times than not I'm tilted from getting dog shit players that like Bab and Ana and go I don't know how to play mercy So getting a mercy main at times is refreshing because then I can just lock my beloved Ana Bet you didn't expect that, huh? I rarely see Briggs, but I'm biased and love playing Briggs, so I'll just give you guys a B tier. You guys do like to feed a lot, but I'll let that slide. If this was prior to playing tank, I would have rated you higher. However, since I started playing tank, I wish nothing but pain and misery for you fucks. Why do you think most of the gameplay in this video is in QP? Because when I played tank in comp, I was getting molested by bastions left and right and couldn't leave. D tier. Any sniper isn't getting ranked higher than a C tier. I'm sorry. You are a mercy pocket merchant, and if you don't get one, you start throwing a fit and typing no-no words in chat, and you most likely have the Overwatch accent. Hey, my name is Ash. You're literally throwing if you don't go mercy just pocket me and we'll win the game sick and tired of the getting these dog shit supports gg go next this is why your heart's stuck and this is why you're d tier <laughs> you motherfucker you put me through so much hell the first three seasons of this game fuck you d tier you most likely main this hero because you know you can't aim but you come to terms with that if i was a flanker i'd rank you lower but since i'm not i really don't have any issues with torb so b tier Symmetria, my soul sister yeah unlike torb your turrets are fucking annoying as shit and when you do the basic bitch tp bomb on my coochie i just want to say certain things in Match chat that I can't disclose. C tier. I don't really have a problem with you, however, you are a hit scan, so. And
and you most likely play COD, which means you camp in corners and mount on windows, C tier. Anyways, that wraps up my video, and I haven't seen the tier list yet, but I'm imagining though the majority of the cast is going to be in D or C tier. I just really hate Overwatch players, if you couldn't tell. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video and I made you laugh, make sure to hit that like button. And I'm curious, comment down below your favorite and least favorite Overwatch main. But yeah, again, uh, join my Discord, get close to the community, um, know when I'm live, know what the next video is going to be, be able to talk to me and shit. And yeah, I uh, love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching this video. And yeah, peace, guys.